TV, Hollywood Q in the house, real shout out celebrity. Tonight I got something special for you. I got a real deal celebrity all the way from LA came through to come show us some love here at Hollywood Q TV. This guy is the real king of comedy. He a real Mexican. So he gonna come through and show us some love. Gilbert Escovel, come on down, man. Come on down, Gilbert. What's up, man? Yeah, man. How you doing all the way from Cali? Oh, the real celebrity. Yeah. the real <laughs> I'm now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how's it been going, man? Been going good, bro. Going real good. Everything good. You did the show. My wife, you? my wife's still faithful. <laughs> I ain't busted her yet, so things are good. As long as I don't catch her, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> How was the show in Detroit? Awesome, man. Detroit loved me, and I love Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, we hit it off real good. Me and me and the D town. <laughs> you should call it the B town, the broke town. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was working there, man. Got, I couldn't get on the freeway. I had to go to somebody's backyard to get on the 75. And then the police saw me. They were going to give me a ticket, but their car didn't start. They are broke, man. You're trying to get no money, man. No, yeah, man. I ain't that bad. They're, they're, uh, but I love that city, man. It's the best city around. The mayor got him. He looked like Suge Knight already. I don't know why they would have hired him, but, you know. And the mayor looks like Suge Knight? Yeah. You, you never, he went to prison. He's in prison now. We don't have a mayor. Detroit, you know him? They didn't, they didn't tell me all that. I was telling me all that if I can, man. I don't go to no city with the trip this mayor's doing time. Dang, <laughs> what? That's rough. Wow, I know Detroit with these. I know how rough. That's how rough Detroit is. The mayor's doing time. Okay. Wow. You know, check me out, man. I got a couple questions for you. Right. You know. Go right. How did you uh, How did you get into comedy? I went to a comedy show and uh, they. Uh, the comedians were trying to pick on me. They were trying to, you know how they pick on you? Yeah, yeah. So they didn't realize that we do this all day, <laughs> every day in the hood. That's all we do is bag on each other. So yeah. we started beating them down, bro. We started yeah. whooping these professional comedians, <laughs> me and my brother. Yeah. And then they invited me and go up. So I, I, they asked if somebody want to go up and tell a joke on stage. Yeah. I go, I will. I get up there and I told a joke and these two guys spit their beer out of their mouth. <laughs> who weren't doing, uh, they weren't laughing at none of the comedians. But when mm -hmm. I told my joke, they spit their beer out. I said, yeah. okay, I thought my new. That's your new thing, huh? Yeah, so I, you know, started doing it about a year later. Yeah, what's the what's the life of a traveling celebrity like? Uh, well, I'm a married one, so it's kind of like a hassle. <laughs> I was single, yeah. you know, loving it, man. You yeah. know, but when you're married and you got kids, and mm. it's kind of like it's it's it becomes a, a hassle. But you got to to make some money. Yeah, yeah. What moment did you feel like you really made it? When I was doing, when I was dreaming. Yeah. When I was doing my dream, that's when I said I made it. Yeah. That's right. That's that's what it is. It's, no. not, it's not the thrill of the kill, it's the thrill of the chase. Yeah. See everybody realize you don't realize that you gotta enjoy the ride there, otherwise when it ends, it's over. Mm -hmm. So to me, when I was doing comedy, to me I felt like I made it because I'm doing what I've always dreamt of doing. Yeah. That's a good point. What what made you move out to Cali? Er, let me see here, the snow. <laughs> we had a blizzard in Alma, Michigan, man, and when the snow is higher than your house, <laughs> and you never chose to live in the igloo, yeah. you know, we went, and then my brother went to California for a vacation, and he was telling us every day, he would call us and tell us how sunny it is and how nice it is and all this stuff. That's it. My mom got sprung over the phone, and we moved to uh, yeah. December of 74. Mm. When I moved to California. That's a long time. Yes, sir. Yes, Man. sir. Man. Um, if you could change anything in your life, what would it be? If I could change anything in my life, what would it be? Oh, my gosh. You know, I mean, honestly, it's just my attitude. Yeah. You know, because I got a good attitude, but I also got bad attitudes. Still, yeah. still got the bad thinking. Mm -hmm. I said I would change my bad thinking because mm. I always try to think positive, but I still got a lot of bad thinking. Mm. So, because you can't change your life until you change your mind. Mm. You can't change your game until you change your way of thinking. Mm. You got to change your mind first because everything begins in your mind. Right on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can't change your life if your mind is still the same. Yeah. You know, you gotta you gotta change your thought pattern, your thinking process. Mm. That's how you change. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would change. Cause I still got a lot of that, 
you know, as much as you try, you still got the bad thought process, the thought, the bad thoughts and the bad uh, traditions and the mm -hmm. things that I've always held us back. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to work on now. Keep getting my mind straight and right. I know all about bad decisions, man. I would have came out to Cali, you know, with the way this tether set up, I can't really leave the state. <laughs> so, yep. you know, it is what it is right now. I'm halfway done, though. A whole year of tether. You know, it was either a year in jail or a year on tether, so I took the tether. You know, I haven't went back to hustling or nothing. This is what I do now, man. Uh, mm. You know, mm. it's straight. <laughs> I like taking the tether because if you got the tether, you can still get some from Heather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't do that in jail. No, I ain't nothing but fellas in jail. <laughs> That's <man>. right. <laughs> I've been there, I'm done with that. I'm going to make you Heather in jail. <laughs> <laughs> My name ain't Heather. Man. I should have took the tether. <laughs> Okay, what are some of the uh, who are some of the celebrities that you work with? I've oh, seen you all over TV, man. man. You've been in the movie. You know. I've worked with Steve Harvey for two seasons on his TV show. Tom Joyner, Cedric the Entertainer. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the list just goes on and on. I mean, I've worked with uh, who else? Uh, I did American Idol before with. Uh, you know, but I was just in the background there. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of the biggest TV shows in Hollywood, Dancing with the Stars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, as a studio audience warm up mm -hmm. uh, with Cheech, you know, Cheech and Chong. I worked with him. I did a little mini tour with him. Mm -hmm. uh, Cameron Diaz, Jack Black, Jude Law, Kate Winslet. And Who, who's that guy with his tail? I seen the picture, man. You were in his garage. You were oh, machete. Yeah. That's machete. Yeah, yeah. Danny Trejo. That's machete. Yeah, he seems like a cool dude, yeah, though. He man. don't text either. That text that fool last week. He ain't calling me back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh, Lou Pizarro from Operation Repo. And, oh, man. Gabriel Iglesias, Fluffy, George Lopez, Paul Rodriguez, all the, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blessed, truly blessed, man. Oh man, beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, we're going to complete the sentence here. You say whatever comes to mind. Okay, you know, know. this could be dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to hold up, play. Go ahead. <laughs> if I wasn't doing comedy, I'd be. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'd be slanging something. I don't know. <laughs> what would I be doing? I'd probably be doing music. Yeah, yeah. You got a passion for music. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, my daddy was a musician. He was a singer. I mean, he was a singer. Mm. So, and my grandmother was a singer. My aunts were singers. It runs in the family. Don't you have a show coming up? You told. Remember, we came to the last comedy show. You guys were gonna do a show at the Palms, or somewhere. It was some. It was somewhere at night where you were like, man, our first show is gonna be, you know, in, in a huge venue. Oh man, we got a lot of shows coming up. Do you? Yeah, we just did. Well, we know we did Caesar's Palace. Yeah, Caesar's Palace. That's Caesar's what it was. Palace. How was that? I did Harris. Caesar's was awful, man. We you know, sometimes things don't go good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get a good opportunity, but little things that are out of your control uh -huh. mess up your opportunity, and so that's what happened. But it's okay. I look at it as a you know, it's just one swing. You yeah. know, I got three swings. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So, that, but then we did Harris Rincon with my new band. Mm -hmm. Then we did another casino, and uh, so yeah, the music's coming along good. Man. Yeah, that's yeah. that's always good, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, it really bothers me when Mexicans hate on each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. They start right away. It's the crab syndrome. You know, the crabs in a bucket. Mm -hmm. You know, when crabs trying to get out, they don't just keep pulling them down. That's mm -hmm. the Mexicans right there. Yeah, and they don't realize that there's plenty of room at the top. Mm -hmm. It's down here where it's crowded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this is where it's crowded. You, yeah. you need to help me to get up because there's plenty of room up here. Mm -hmm. Down here is where it's crowded. Uh -huh. When you get that through your head, you will, you'll stop hating on each other. Yeah, there's a lot of hate going on around these parts. Yeah, especially Mexicans. We're the oh, worst. Man. Oh, man. Mexicans are the most racist people in the world. We're racist <laughs> against ourselves. <laughs> if you live on that street, we don't like you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it is. Even our families don't like each other. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I hate. <laughs> All right. My favorite part of the VMAs was that I didn't watch it and see this Miley Cyrus fiasco there. <laughs> I heard she was trying. I heard she got fired by a pimp because she did not do a good job. That's what I'm like a little girl. That's what I heard. I said I didn't see it, but now I'm glad I didn't see it. It was crazy. Yeah. Uh, where is my money? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> well, I got that pimp mentality. Yeah. Where's my money? Yeah, all day. Okay, 
Blank was the liveest city I ever performed Detroit. in. Detroit. 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 The man, I got to tell you, Detroit <laughs> has got it going on. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. I've worked cities all over the country. Mm -hmm. The black people in Detroit are the coolest black people I've ever, <laughs> ever met. They are so cool because they were... It was like, it's nothing, they got the, I, I went taking a tour of all the burned out houses and everything, but, mm -hmm. you know, Detroit has such a bad reputation because of that, but they don't realize that that's just a small percentage of what's wrong with Detroit. Mm -hmm. It's got 90% of positive stuff that it has to offer, yeah. and the main thing is the people. Yeah. The people are just so down to earth and cool, and I've been down south. Yeah, I've been in cities, Birmingham, Alabama. I've been in Mississippi. I've been everywhere, Miami. The black people in Detroit are so classy and cool, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, bro. Mm -hmm. Out of all the cities that I've been, Detroit, I fell in love with. I yeah. fell. I could live in Detroit mm -hmm. and not be missing a thing. No, the snow. You missed the weather. <laughs> man. Well, you know, even that though, man, you know what I'm saying? Because you get older, you know, you get cuddle up with your female if it gets yeah. too cold. Yeah, it's about to be cuddled. Or your cellmate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> or, your, or Heather, or your, you can be tethered to your cellmate. <laughs> Two, three more months, it's cuddling season. <laughs> Alright, when I'm on stage doing the show, I feel like... Oh, man, I feel like king of the world. Yeah. I feel like a stud. <laughs> I do, I feel like a stud when I'm up there. I feel like just awesome and the more the audience laughs and it's a, it's like you're it's a drug yeah. it's, it's a drug it's like you're taking a blast for the first time mm. Ooh, yeah yeah, yeah okay. it's addicting too it's like <laughs> sex too yeah it is yeah. doing comedy is like sex mm. the audience is your female and you know that interaction that yeah. reaction it's it is it's really weird it's hard to explain but yeah. i've heard other comics say the same thing it's, like they're, it's like they're having sex great film Mm -hmm. I wear a condom on stage. <laughs> if I was single, ooh wee! If I was single, I'd be looking for a woman like my wife. <laughs> yeah. Great would, answer. If I was single, I'd be looking for a girl. I, I, I came, I came up when I got my girl. She's, yeah. she's good. She's fine. Mm -hmm. She's, but she you know, supports me 100. percent She lets me be a kid. She lets me be a man. She yeah. just lets me be a, just lets me be me. Yeah. And there's nothing more than a woman can give her husband or her man then just let him be a fool, let him be a man, let him be a kid, just mm -hmm. let him be. Yeah. If you do that, you're, he's, you're his forever. And if he loses you, well, he lost. Yeah. All right. Good answer, though. Really good answer. Well, yeah. my wife got to watch this. So <laughs> yeah. I that one down. All right, one last question before you get out of here. Right. If I could work with anyone, it would be? Mm, mm, mm. If I could work with anyone, Oh man, I would think you don't work with Sinbad. Sinbad? Sinbad? Yeah, I love Sinbad. He's one of my <laughs> Sinbad's one of my favorite comedians. Yeah. Because well, he's actually the, my favorite comedian. He's clean and he's funny. Mm -hmm. He's clean and he's funny. I I, I used to, I grew up on Sinbad, so I, I used to like him a lot too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sinbad's my homie, man. Him and Eddie Murphy, but Eddie Murphy was dirty. Yeah. So. <laughs> And man, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor oh, too. I love Richard Pryor, man. That's why I, I always tell people my, I'm a cross between Richard. I'm like a clean Richard Pryor. Man. Yeah. That's what I like to call myself. A clean <laughs> Richard Pryor. Well, look, man. Good. You came to the hood. You blessed us with your presence. A real celebrity. We're family, man. A real We're family. Celebrity. Can you believe it? <laughs> We're family. Yeah. I'm black. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? All the way from LA. A real celebrity came to Saginaw, to the hood. Yeah. To keep it black. <laughs> you don't believe I'm black, talk about Bill Collector. Keep it 100. Real people do real things, man. Thank you a lot. Yeah, my brother. Thank I you. appreciate you. Yeah. Come see me again, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Till next time, you got to go. I'll see you later, man. Adios. You got to get off my I show. Got I got to get it off. <laughs> I got to go clean. <laughs> there we go. Hollywood QTV, a real celebrity, Gilbert Escobar. He coming back to the hood, man. Real people do real things, man. Holla at me. We out, man. Let's go.